medalist will join us in progress. She's on the way here right now. So let's first bring up our bronze medalist. She finished third today with a time of 8.55.15. It's her fifth medal for Kenya, the most of any country in this event, Faith Shirochic. And the gold medalist setting a new Olympic record, 8.52.76, and bringing the second gold medal back to Bahrain, Yavi Winifred. If you have a question, please raise your hand and we will bring the microphone to you. Uh, and please state your name and your outlet before you ask the question. Any questions for the medalists in the women's 3,000 meter steeplechase? Well, then I'm gonna open it up. Yavi, it, it not only took an Olympic record to win this race against this competition, it took the fastest time in the world this year, the third fastest time in history. Can you talk about the women in that race today and, and what it took to be the first one across the line? Um, well, uh, you know, today I just ca came to the race, so I just executed the plan that my coach and I had planned. So my goal was just going there, do my race, um, and actually fight for the first place. So for me, doing the the fastest uh, that that time, eight fifty two. Um, I was not uh, expecting it's something that came like a surprise. Yeah. Before we started, it was said that you looked so smooth out there, so strong that you might have been able to run a 5,000 meter steeplechase today if such an event existed. Uh -huh. How good did you feel on those in those last 400 meters? <laughs> Oh well, I, I just felt like ah, uh, uh, I just felt like I was having that strength. I could even just do the five, five k maybe steeplechase. Yeah, so I just I had a lot of power. When when people come across the finish line and they win an Olympic gold medal, there's always an outpouring of emotion. Everybody has a big smile on your face on their face. But you looked incredibly ecstatic. What was going through your mind right after you crossed the line? Oh, I was like, ah, oh, this is a dream come true for me, Olympic dream come for, <clears throat> true for me. Because just imagine uh, it happens after every four years. So, um, and then I was like, okay, I was like, I have been working hard with my team and then I'm like, we have just done this. So that's what I was going through my mind that uh, uh, the dream has come true for what we have been working hard for. And just a quick note, we are going to offer consecutive interpretation in Swahili. And I want to ask Faith a question. You have two under 20 <laughs> world medals. You come to your first Olympics at the age of 20, and you win the bronze. Can you talk about the success you've had at such a young age? Um, <laughs> Uh, she but nimengangana, nimeona progressive yangu mekwa sawa, and at 20 nimekimbia poa, nika graduate to junior, to senior, and nashukuru mungu na edela vizuri, and I'm happy, yeah. Um, so I thank God for today. I'm very grateful. Um, all of you can attest to the fact that I started as a junior where I was successful and it's really amazing to come to my first Olympics and earn a medal. I'm really happy and I thank God. I want to open the floor for questions in the room or questions online. We are streaming live on my info. And if you have a question, you can press the Ask OIS button at the top of the screen and we'll ask your question in the room. Any questions in the room for the medalist in the women's 3,000 meter steeplechase? We have one back here. Excellent. My, my name is Paul Nzioki, Radio France International, Kiswahili Service. I have a question to Wilfred Mutile Yavi. Uh, what do you tell Kenyans who still think that you are part of them? And what does that medal mean to you? Um, well, so uh, I would love to tell uh, uh, my fellow Kenyans that um, uh, this means, uh, this medal means a lot to me and to my team back to Kenya. Um, and also, it's a dream come true for me. Uh, even if uh, being an, uh, becoming Olympic champion, even if I'm in Bahrain, so uh, it's a dream come true for me. 
uh, back in Kenya and also uh, to myself, yeah. A question for both of you, Winifred and Faith. Uh, Peruth's gonna join us as soon as she can, but she obviously, the defending champion in this event, won the gold in Tokyo in 2020. Can you just talk about the path she's paved for the two of you <coughs> to be up here and what it's like running with her? I'll start with you, Winifred. Just huh? running with Peruth, what's, you know, she's the defending gold medalist in this and, and yeah. tonight you had to beat her to win. What's it like running with somebody who also has won a gold medal? Oh, I knew, I knew, ah, I was like, something was going through my mind when I was running and I'm like, no, I'm not going to let this go because I'm like, I just wanted to secure this title for, uh, for being an Olympic champion. So uh, I just executed the speed that I had in my body. So I, and then I, I saw it just worked perfectly, yeah. Faith, can you talk about what it's like now? You're you're sharing the podium with with two gold medalists. You're steeplechase royalty. Um, how does that feel? Um, I'm a I'm a defending champion, and I'm a because you know, and the other year I could defend a title, and. It's a privilege to run and line up alongside the defending champion. Of course, she came out to win a medal. She was focused on that. So I'm very thankful to also share a podium here. I'm grateful. Last call for questions online or in the room. All right, but we'll hope to get some comments for Peruth later. I know she was trying to get here. Um, but it is kind of hard to find your way here uh, from the other side of the stadium, so completely understand. Winfred Yavi, Faith Trojic, congratulations and thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And we can now stop the screen stream. Thank you.